Remember back in the day when we used to sit right in front of a TV and watch cartoons at 6am? Well, Gen Alpha have replaced this with watching Skibbity Toilet on a crusty iPad all day long. Remember when we used to play with our Lego for hours, making Malara as depressing as possible? Well, Gen Alpha doesn't use any toys. They've replaced this with scrolling through YouTube shorts, consuming mind-numbing content. Unless it's Amos, of course. And finally, do you remember the luxury of getting to hold a phone and play Subway Surfers for just 10 minutes? Well, Gen Alpha got iPads when they were literal fetuses, so they don't get that luxury anymore. Why has all of this changed? 2020. During 2020, none of us had school, and even us Gen Zs have to admit that we spent at least 8 hours a day playing games. It was just so much fun. Fortnite Chapter 2, Among Us, FIFA 20. This was by far prime gaming. You're just lying if you deny that you were glued to your controller during 2020. Anyway, while we were all virtually smashing the homies, our parents had work to do, and their Gen Alpha kids were annoying them. To silence these kids, they just gave them iPads all day long. This was such a bad choice. Kids got used to these iPads and adapted to them so much that they still struggled to escape screens in 2024. I'm convinced if you took tech from a Gen Alpha for even a day, then their brain would explode. The kid's not dead, don't worry. Anyway, you get the point. It's all 2020's fault that Gen Alpha is going downhill. The problem is that this downwards hill is not slowing down. As tech is getting more and more advanced, Gen Alphas are getting more and more used to it. It's got to the point where humans are literally predicted to evolve into having arched backs. Imagine that, a society full of bent spine. That literally sounds like a horror movie idea. I better see Hollywood cooking soon. Don't forget to leave Amos in the credits. For real though, people definitely aren't exaggerating when they say Gen Alpha is doomed. They're literally taking humans down a new evolutionary path. Just process that for a second. Gen Alpha is single-handedly taking us down another evolution tree. Jeez, and I haven't even mentioned attention span yet. How on earth are these kids going to survive in the working world? I spend 10 hours minimum editing my videos, and I doubt a Gen Alpha could even do half of that without taking a YouTube shorts break. To be fair, I doubt you could either, but you get my point. The evolution of short-form content is lowering this attention span mm. more and more. It's gotten so bad that I guarantee not a single Gen Alpha has made it this far into the video. Feel free to comment and prove me wrong though. Scrolling through TikTok is ruining their IQ as well because they barely know English anymore. It feels like they've created a whole new language with the type of stuff they come out with. Like what the hell does skibbity mean in a day-to-day -day conversation? The annoying thing is that the Oxford Dictionary has actually added the Gen Alpha word into it. I went to my nan's house a few weeks ago and she asked me if I knew what Riz meant. Thank you Oxford Dictionary, that wasn't the best five minutes of my life. Imagine having to explain Riz to your grandmother. It was traumatizing, trust me. I don't know who allowed Riz to be officially English, but it should be a criminal offense. Get to that culprit behind bars right now because Gen Z is a victim. If Riz can become a word, then why isn't Yo one? It's the exact same logic. Petition for Yo to become an official word is pinned in the comments. If you don't sign it, I'll shoot kids, Moz. I just thought I'd point out that in 10 years time, we will be the ones employing these Gen Alphas. We'll be there in our fresh new suits, wondering why all of our applicants have no brain cells or any social skills. That will be fun. For any Gen Alphas watching this, get smart in school because your job competition won't be very good. Oh, and also clean the device you're watching this video on because you know it's covered in fingerprints. Imagine us reading Gen Alpha job applications in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if he wrote certified Rizzler in their CV. You wouldn't be able to pay me to hire them. The working world most definitely isn't ready for this generation. This whole video, I've been rambling about Gen Alpha, but there's something funny I forgot to mention. But before I talk about it, you should subscribe. This channel is inches away from monetization and it's my dream, so it really would mean a lot. Anyway, you know how we look back at toys, Lego, and Cartoon Network, stuff like that? Well, in five years' time, Gen Alpha will be reflecting on Skibbity and Coca Melon. That's so hard to process. I just can't imagine two 16 year olds talking about how Grimace was a classic back in the day. Ooh. Just do me a favor and close your eyes for a moment. Hey, Tom, remember when we used to watch Skibbity Toilets all the time? Those are the good old days, man. I really wish we could go back. If my brother says that in 10 years time, I'm pile driving him into a beanbag. Now, I've already mentioned Gen Alpha slang in this video, but it's impossible to cover in under a minute. Gen Alpha must have invented at least 200 words, which is why I have a full video on it, and it's on the screen now. 